Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and a viewer or subscriber sent me this uh, design he's designed. It's got a leak when he uses a smart fill tool. So let's uh, take a rectangle so it will not leak. And he's also got a fill when he draws stuff, and that uh, I don't do not know why anybody would do that. So if you will click on any nothing and double click on this and go no fill and then hit OK and hit OK and then when you draw these boxes you won't get a fill so if you want to change that if, if you want the fill that's fine but I've been doing this long enough and let's just make a leak let's see how it's leaking and you can see it's leaking pretty bad so and I've been using Corel long enough now where I can see some things that other people might not be able to see this red line and this red line looks thicker than the other red lines. And if you click on that red line, you can see it's only half the drawing. So let's hit delete. I just deleted half of it. And it's still there. Let's hit delete there. It still looks too red. Let's hit delete. There are actually three lines on top of each other, and that could cause a problem. Smart fill will fix that. But anyway, we've got a leak, so I'm going to take my two-point line, and I'm just going to cut the box in half, or in quarters. And I'm going to take my smart fill tool, and I don't have any leak there. I don't. I got a leak there. I don't have any leak there, and I don't have any leak there. So that means my leak, because you can actually smart fill these in. So your leak is in this top qu quadrant. So let's just back up here and take all the smart fill away. And where's our leak? It's kind of hard to tell. You know, it's hard to, well, I just happened to zoom in and see it. But you could move your line over and go smart fill. Well, you still got a leak. And then you could actually bring another line in and do like this. And you still have a leak. But I can see the leak. And there's a couple ways to fix that. The leak is right here. I just happened to zoom in and just caught it with my eye. It's right there. You've got two nodes that aren't touching. So you need to kind of back up a little bit and click on one node. You want to back up so you won't change your graphic. And then zoom in. And all you really have to do is put that node on top of that other node. Now we could get it a little pretty close and I'm just going to add this into the video and select that and shift select this selecting both those nodes and go up to windows dockers join curves and this is set on a half of an inch and that's definitely not a hitch, half of an inch and hit apply and it joins it really better than you could join it. Now we actually have another node in there we don't really need. And if you back up and take your shape tool, as long as it didn't hurt your graphic, and then go back and smart fill it, and your leak's gone. So then all you have to do is just back up, take your lines away. And I would keep my rectangle in place just in case it does leak and then use a smart fill tool and there's no leak and this is what's neat about the smart fill tool now you can move this away you can get rid of all this select your item left click right click if you're going to cut it out and now it's all one solid uh, the nodes are connected because the smart fill tool does that it's a if you designed this yourself you did a pretty good job um, you know uh, I can't see anything wrong with it but you could always if you're going to engrave it just smart fill it and take away the outline anyway I hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching